Hey guys, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. I am very excited because I have 3rd in Main, their fall box, but I have the brand new contemporary modern box as well as their traditional, I guess what we will call a farmhouse box. This box is brand new. I'm getting to be the very first person to show it to anyone. And I have to tell you guys, I am so excited. My husband literally had to make a list of things I had to do to earn the right to unbox these because I was like, let's just skip everything and unbox third in Maine. He's like, we can't do that. I believe this is the contemporary box and I believe this is the farmhouse box. I'm diving right into the new box because I'm really, really excited about it. So a little info if you're new here, Third in Main is a home decor subscription box. It's seasonal, which means four boxes a year at $129 a season. If you put pink tin, you do get 10% off your order. They now have the two box options, but they also do holiday add-on boxes and the gift boxes. Gift boxes can be sent whenever, holiday boxes come out near holidays. And I saw the Halloween gift box and it is so stinking cute. I don't have an unboxing of that one, but you can use the link below to check that out. But they support local makers in small businesses across the USA to create these boxes. It is a home decor box that is a decorating curating service like they, they are wanting to curate decorations that are unique for your home they are not trying to amass the biggest discount so i think that's a good thing to know because i did just unbox decor steals and that is definitely a box that is just trying to build the most discounted subscription box they can this is the opposite so i feel like we have a little bit of everything for everyone or if you're like me you just do both okay no more talking i want to see what's in here I believe these boxes start shipping 10-1. Unlike other home decor boxes, they don't really keep much a surprise. Sometimes they'll leave like maybe one item for a surprise, but they really wanna showcase what's in the box so you know what you're ordering and you love what you were ordering. Yes, this is the contemporary box. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is all I can see, but oh my gosh. It's heavy. So all white, but this guy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ta-da! Maybe we can insert really good music and not my singing. You don't want to traumatize people. Third in Main Contemporary Fall 2021. Fall box inspiration. And it talks about the inspo, ideas to get you started. Talks about their incredible colors, the harvest colors, reds, oranges, mustards, and golds. Talks about several of the items in here. And I think it shows them. But me and you, we're not looking. We're not looking at all this. We're just gonna be surprised. I'm not even gonna lie. We're gonna open this first because this is all things happy, the colors and the shape. It's even wrapped perfectly. I love stems, like love, love, love stems. If you watch the Dream Box haul where Jonathan and I pretended to be subscription box owners and curated our own boxes, you will note that in my Falling for Fall box, I put fall stems because they're the happiest ever. These are so cute. There are three stems here and each of the stems have three sprigs on it. So you can create a pretty full vase or setup. They seem like they mold good and move. So like they just came out of the box and look how fluffy they are. They're not all smashed. So they do move around nicely, which is really important on a stem. The colors are awesome. If you continue watching through this week, I have a fall front door haul coming out where I redecorated my whole front door with all these wonderful things. And these are the colors that I put up there. Super, super cute. Okay, great start. I always panic, like I don't know what to grab next. I'm gonna grab the most obvious thing though, because I think it goes with these stems and it looks fabulous. This is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness gracious. The textures, the shape, I love absolutely everything about this vase. You obviously can put things inside. It has the feet on the bottom so it won't scratch. And da 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 da. Oh my gosh, the stems look so good. The stems look 
so good in here. Actually, it elevates the stems once they're in here, which is kind of funny, but this looks so cute. Okay, so I told y'all earlier, they're about decorating and curating your decorations. This is a great box for people who decorating doesn't come naturally for because wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, that's done. That looks so cute. Oh, it feels breakable. I'm gonna go slow. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cool and this is so unique. I don't know that I've received something like this in a box yet. It's an apple shaped shelf decor, but it's, what is the, I don't know what the chrome, a bronze chrome reflective. It is super, super cool. And the stem though is more like a real apple stem. It looks, I mean, it looks like a real, real apple stem. I'm scared to mess with it because I don't want it to break. That looks so cute. I am super in love. Is it a set? I think it's a set. It's a set. That is so cute. I loved the one but I super love the three because quite literally you're done decorating. Add this on your fireplace mantle, add it on a buffet in your entry, add it to a sofa back couch, add it to a shelf on your built-ins. Done. I am so, so impressed. Have you ever wondered why I keep a 25 foot tape measure to measure these things. I really should invest in something smaller and lighter because when have we ever even exceeded six foot? Anyways, I digress. Okay, so this guy is about five inches, six inches with the stem. This guy is about four inches, five inches with the stem with a circumference of about five and a half inches, circumference of about four and a half inches to show you just how hardy these things are. Look, I mean, look at this guy in my hand. He's huge. That is so great. And this vase over here, to show you how big this vase is, it is a foot tall and its base is six inches around. I mean, these are not small items. These are great space filling items. And if you have shelves, you could separate these two like book, 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 big apple, book, frame, small apple. That would be so cute. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Is it an ornament? An acorn ornament? You can see the top here. That is absolutely beautiful. I don't, that is so cute. I'm a little lost on what to do with it other than I think I would do that right there. I mean, I sat that down just by chance and now I'm like, oh, that's really, really cute. I mean, you obviously could put it on a tree and I keep trees up outside of Christmas. So I have my three Christmas trees I put up at Christmas, but then one of them stays up and becomes a Valentine's tree. This year we were talking about doing a Halloween tree. And then I have like a, a metal tree that holds all our travel ornaments. And that would look really cute on there. I think things wrap so perfectly. I love it. It's a tray, a beautiful tray. So it looks like a really heavy glass has a great appearance of looking, I mean like a heavy glass tray. It's not, it's super light. It's like really light, which I love because sometimes I like to do uh, floating shelves and you just can't put a ton of weight on a floating shelf. Well, I mean, if it's mounted right, you can, but some of the ones I have up don't have any support on the back or the sides. You could use this because it's not real heavy. So look, instinct. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Although I, I want to put that in my bathroom for like my perfumes and my special lotions to sit on. That would look so cute. There's still more in here. We're not done. The prettiest pillowcase I have ever received in a subscription box ever. And I've been doing this for six years, six years. Look at this guy. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has tassels. 
And even the back is gorgeous. So if you wanted to flip it, you could. This is actually a crushed doll that is super, super soft and full of great texture. And then on the front, it actually has these knots tied into the crushed velvet portion of it. This is so stinking cute. A 20 inch by 12 inch cotton lumbar pillow. So I probably would order a 19 by 13 pillow because I have other subscription boxes that use 19 by 13 pillows and that would just make it really easy for me to shuffle amongst them all. This is super, super cool. Is this the insert? Oh my gosh, I think this is the insert. I literally went to set this box down and was like, what is that? and flipped it over. Look, it's poofing. It's vacuum sealed so it easily went in the box. It's the freaking pillow insert, you guys. You literally have to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's put this on. I almost didn't see that down there, y'all. I just assumed it was packing materials. It's white like the paper. I almost threw it away. That would have been so sad. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Look, look at the back. That is so great. So we got one, the inserts two, the trays three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll count that as a bunch. Eight items in the box. It's only $129 and we got unique, big, hearty items. You may notice that I don't say very often, hurry and order boxes will sell out because that's not true for everyone. But I have talked to the owners and I do know with this brand new box, they didn't order a bunch of them. They're testing it out to see if people like it. These boxes will go very, very quickly. So if you are at all interested in ordering the contemporary box, you're going to want to grab the URL below, go purchase it, use pink 10 to get 10% off and secure your box. Cause once they're gone, they're gone. They don't have the ability to get more in. So there's your warning. The third in Maine contemporary fall 2021 box is a huge success. Okay, let's dive over here and see what's in the traditional box, which is now the farmhouse box. If you wanna see my first ever third in Maine unboxing go up here, I included them in a haul uh, when they first discovered them. And then my mind was blown with the value and the quality on that box. So then we started chatting, which got me these boxes. So this is the modern farmhouse box, their fall box, just like in the last one. It has the inspiration about the box, style guide of how to use and decorate your items, plus all the items in the box. But me and you, we don't look at those. Ah, where do I start? Okay, I'm going for the big obvious. Sometimes I avoid the big obvious, but not this time. An all natural wood vase and it's smooth like it feels great handmade out of mango wood in thailand each one is irregular and unique as it's natural and authentically sourced wood you can wash with warm water in mild soap and dry okay real wood i always have to look this is super cool and let me tell you guys it smells so good it smells so so good that natural wood smell mm, i Love that. You know who's gonna love that even more? My husband. He's gonna love that base. And we got stems. These are cute stems. Let's fluff them out a little bit because they've been packed. These are unique stems too. I really like the stems. I buy a lot of stems. I buy a lot of dried. And these are really unique compared to what you normally see. I love the colors. Can y'all see the, the colors in there? There's like reds and yellows and oh my gosh. That's really great. That is really great. Oh my gosh, super cool. And then it looks like we got something for Halloween. Halloween on this side. However, fall on this side. That is so cute, you guys. That is so cute. And can y'all see the edge? It has a really great rustic wood texture. This is five inches by five inches and about an inch and a half thick. This vase is 10 inches tall 
and it's not real wide. I don't know how to tell you how wide it is without pulling all those out. Love the fact that this can be used. Well, I would do September, October, November. So you get three uses out of it. <gasps> we got a candle. I love candles. Oh my gosh, this candle smells so good. I can already smell it. Sweet Water Decor Hello Pumpkin Number no. 12 Soy Candle Hand Poured in the USA. That is so great. Oh my gosh, yeah. It has like the perfect fall smell. And it's not hit you in the face strong. I mean, obviously I could smell it when I opened it, being how sometimes you open a candle and you go to smell it and you're just like this. No, this has a really great firm but light scent. I hope that makes sense. And it smells so good. It smells like fall. It smells like fall. Look how cute that goes together. That looks so good. Okay, you guys are gonna have to tell me when I finish opening this one, which one's your favorite? Do you like contemporary more or modern farmhouse more? And I know that's just based on your style, but I'm just really curious. What do we have here? Because one of the biggest requests I get is a non-farmhouse decor box. And I got you one. I got a non-farmhouse decor box. Oh, that's cool. What is this made out of? It's a beige pumpkin, but it has a texture like cement, but then there's this beautiful smooth glass stem on it. Can y'all see? That is very cool. It is about four inches tall, this pumpkin. Put the pumpkin by my Hello Pumpkin candle. I love the texture on the outside of that. It like, it feels like, oh, concrete, cement. Hmm. One of those is the powder you pour, and one of those is the final result. I think you pour the concrete and you end up with cement. I don't remember. Y'all can tell me. Look, look what I, oh, oh, there's another item in there. I thought this was the last. There is another item in there. Here it goes again. <laughs> I love that. Give thanks. That is so cute. I don't like to buy or have pillows in my house that have like kitschy words all over it. So this is very, very much me. So that's more of a burlap. This is a little more smooth on this side and there's the insert inside. So I didn't have to assemble this one, but I wanna point out that the insert is already in here. So this is a two for, a two for one and goes so beautifully with the rest of this. Look at the colors here. This is a great neutral flow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm putting both of these boxes together. I don't see a reason in the world why these two can't play together. I'll bring that other one back in just a second so we can show. Oh, it's a tray. It's a little round tray. It has like the scallop edging. It does have the feet on the bottom so it won't scratch. It's, it's a little hardy for the size. Obviously it's round. It's just shy of eight inches around. That is so cute. Just look. If you are not a decorator, voila. Go put this on a chair or your bed or your living room couch or the bench in your dining room or your front patio couch or on the floor with a stack of blankets because you have kids and they don't get on the furniture anyways. They end up down there for some reason. So cute. This box, they do have more of. So, I mean, I wouldn't delay. If you notice the last, not third in, oh, yes, yes. The last time I featured third in Maine, which I linked up earlier, y'all didn't all get a box because it sold out and that was their main box. So they do have more inventory of this one. But once again, if you like it, just go get it so that it won't sell out and then you miss out. Same thing with this one. This one is 129 for the season. And you, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in the box. Let me get them both and put them side by side now. Oh my gosh, you guys, I completely forgot to tell you the very best part about the farmhouse subscription with Art in Maine. So once you order your box, the farmhouse box only, within 24 hours, you're gonna get an email for you to make your selections. You can see the full box spoiled on the sneak peek section of their blog. It is a destination you have to go to because they only want those who want to see it to see it. But you get to choose. So let me show you the box that I did not receive that is the other option. Option one is this box right here. You get the two test tube vases, 
the fall leaf drop-in, the charcoal and brown woven lumbar pillow, the soy candle we got, the ceramic pumpkin we got, and we now know that the surprise item to complete the look is the white round tray, which is so cute. If you continue to scroll down at the options, you can see the exact box I got, which is this one here. But I absolutely love that they focus to make sure you get the box that you love the most. So once you order here, you can see that it says you'll receive your product selection email within 24 hours of placing your order for you to begin customizing your box. Here we are, both boxes. And I'm telling you, these play well together, play really well together. When set apart on their own, they have their very distinct looks. But if you wanted to put this together for a mix and match, you absolutely could because they are really, really fall centric and done chicly, done well. Any decor items done well have the ability to really mix and match and play well with others. And this box does this. Third and main, in my personal opinion, you knocked it out of the park. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to answer and help. If I missed a measurement or you have a, just any kind of question about anything, please put it below. I, I, I'm here to help you. I also want to know which box is your favorite. Do you like contemporary? or do you like Modern Farmhouse? And if you order the box, hop on, shout it out. Say, I got one so that I know it's coming in. I really wanna do a decorate with me. This video is already getting to be so long, so I can't plug it in here. But I think we should loop back and do a decorate with me. So let me know if you snag a box. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing fall. And if you're a subscriber, I'm gonna see you guys later. All right, guys, bye y'all.